So, I like Pump It Up. Like, I like Pump It Up a lot. I started playing Pump It Up around a year ago, and it's been quickly becoming one of my favorite hobbies. And for me to express my love for Pump It Up and the game for what it is, I decided to get some cosmetics for it. For what it's worth, you may say, I already have enough cosmetics for Pump. I already have a Pump t-shirt. Hmm. Man, I'm hungry. I can't think, so let me just eat some grapes. Ah. Ah. I have my credit, or my DMV card which is Cave Garden now. I also have my AM Pass. I know it's Okayu, but behind it, it's my- Oh shoot, that's my credentials. So, why not get even more cosmetics for fun? Let's get even fancier, and today, I want to introduce- I can't show the actual thing. I want to introduce a seller who primarily makes Pump It Up merchandise, or sells- Yeah, sells Pump It Up merchandise, whether it be AM Passes, pins, stickers, plushies, they sell a bunch of stuff, and yeah, I just wanted to really show their stuff out because, well, I'm a huge nerd of pump. This is not sponsored or anything. I have here an envelope-like uh, sandwich thingy. The whole process of this took two months, so I am very excited. Like, I originally messaged the seller, like, like interested in getting a product, and now, I finally got it, so yeah. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I'll show the first item here. This is a custom made wristband for Pump It Up NX. And that's a pretty good version of Pump, by the way. N NX, absolutely. Cool little band. That's cool. I think this was handmade too, so I gotta respect it. That's a cool first item. We have the uh, NX Absolute wristband, which is a very cool. We have the two pins. We have a Pump It Up, Pump It Up sticker, which is really cool. This this like metal, really really impressive stuff. I got the silver version, and we have. Love, this is really cool too. The uh, Love is a Danger Zone sticker. This one's dedicated to Monty because I know he hates this song. This came out really cool though. It's gold accented and very nice. There are two pins right here I'm going to put on there. Next uh, is the Pump It Up trading card. This is also fan made. I, I think it's fan made at least. Uh, uh, there we go. Here it is. Swift Love. I sadly can't read Spanish. So, you guys are gonna have to tell me what this means. <laughs> I actually don't know what chart or song this is. This must be very old. Very cool though. And, here we go. We have the three AM passes. They're kinda, kinda, <laughs> the, the back of them are a little dirty, but I'm sure the insides will be fine. Let's, let's check out. Ooh, okay, so this is the uh, Pump It Up Prime AM pass I ordered. So, yeah, I'm not gonna open it on my excitement. My hands are shaking, bro. So that's the uh, Prime 2 uh, AM Pass. Wow, the camera lighting actually looks pretty good on this. I think it looks better on the camera. The second AM Pass is the 2017 Prime 2 Chibi. Oh, I thought the lighting was gonna be better. Right here. I'm gonna put that on top, right here. And last, we have the custom made Crossing Delta 3D card, but look at that, that's cool. That's also fan made, and that's, that's really cool. I, I've always liked the Crossing Delta characters and the overall aesthetic to it, so yeah, this is definitely very cool to have. And what's it called? I think the back, and this is the AM card I'm most excited about, personally speaking. I'm not gonna say it. I'm just gonna open it up, just to review it to you guys. Oh, it's just sticked on! And the Prime 2 AM Pass, check that out! It's not focusing, my camera ain't focusing. Look at that. Dang! Okay! Put that all in there. 
And there we go. That is all of the Pump It Up merchandise I paid for. Looks sick. Actually, mine as well. I'm gonna put my my other my my actual like AM pass and custom stuff as well for Pump. Okay, here is the AM pass. Right there. there we go. Let's line that all up. This is such an awesome showcase. These are only four dollars, by the way. I'm gonna I'm gonna review all the prices uh, that I paid for. Right now, those are all the official prices that I paid for. I think if I'm gonna give any uh, feedback, I think overall the presentation could have been a little bit cleaner. I think overall, like if you look at it, the camera, it looks completely fine. But looking at the cards in person, um, there's like kind of like shine to it, and I could kind of tell. I don't really think it, the cards were cleaned uh, ahead of time. Not like they need to necessarily, but I wouldn't feel that. For the price that you're paying, I think it would be nice if they're pre-cleaned. Like, if for example, for my e-amusement card I purchased, I did it, feel, it felt very new, and I it felt new, and I didn't feel like I needed to clean it. Unlike these cards, where I feel like I definitely need to clean them. Um, the extras goodies they came with, like the the tradable cards, the wristband, um, that was a very nice gesture from the seller for me. I really appreciate that. But overall, I think if the uh, cards, um, like even some of the sleeves were kind of dirty, if they were just a little bit like, I think the presentation could just be a little bit nicer for future products. I think another complaint I might have was it was a little bit confusing, not gonna lie, to order. Um, some things, like, okay, I, w I will understand, I understand Maybe because there's a language barrier, because um, the seller is from Mexico, and I'm personally a U.S. seller. We speak different languages, so maybe there was something I missed along the lines. But finding out which products were available or not, I feel like that should also be a given. Where I had to personally message the seller which items from this uh, photo is available. And I just think uh, in the future, on the site, maybe if there was like an inventory page of like what's available, I think that would make the process of purchasing items like from the store much easier. My overall experience with the seller, it was, they are very nice. With full transparency, they did give me a little discount on shipping and provided some extra goodies along with the review of this video. But I still think um, my experience was overall positive. This process, um, the shipping to the US took around a month. Um, the total cost of everything was around 60 and I think my, my last little nitpick I have is, uh, I hope in the future they could change the purchasing option from Western Union to PayPal because I think with Western Union, I was asking my dad previously to, when purchasing cars, Western Union is very old and apparently it's kind of complicated to use. So if something more traditional like PayPal or maybe some other like sources use, I think that would make it a little bit easier for more international sellers to purchase because there was also a fee along with that. Again though, it could be more, Western Union could be more common in Mexico, I'm not sure, but I'm just trying to give my overall opinion as a US seller. Thank you again. Thank you so much to PIU Items for this overall awesome experience. I'm definitely in the next upcoming days gonna have these displayed on my uh, my pump setup at home uh, yeah I'm gonna leave a link in the description of their product page pump it up uh, like merch thanks for watching I'll see you later peace could have been a little bit better I
。あいー。<笑>あいや。<笑> I don't know how I came to my head. Um,